G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Farms can be pretty dangerous places at times, especially home farms, because we have our families and children often living and playing on site. Today I'm talking about a subject that I think is long overdue on this channel, and that is first aid and the provision of it and planning for a little bit of safety on the home farm. Now in agriculture, it's common knowledge, we deal with some pretty dangerous stuff from the humble roll of barbed wire, to heavy tools and equipment, to tractors, to chemicals and animals. All of these things are amongst the top five causes of death and injury on farm. So today we're gonna to have a look at kits that you should have around your home and small farm to deal with accidents and emergencies because they always happen when you least expect them to. Then we're going to have a look at some free resources that'll help you and those around you deal even better with first aid and emergency situations because they always occur when you're least prepared. So today I'm reviewing four kits from Survival First Aid. The first is the car kit and then we've got our workplace kit which I'm going to use for my home kit. We've got a remote and outdoor pack, and we've also got a snake fight pack. Now, interestingly enough, these brown packs are considered modules, and you can see the little tabs here. They're actually designed to match up perfectly with the larger packs. So let's dig into these packs, see how they're organized, see how much stuff you get, and see how comprehensive it is. Before we open them up, I'm just gonna point out one really cool feature with both of these larger packs, and that is that they've got this little dongle on them that you can zip away inside the pack, but if you leave it out, there's a CPR kit and some sticky bandage here, and you don't even have to open the kit to get to it. I think this is brilliant because one of the most traumatic and one of the most nerve wracking experiences you'll ever have is having to give CPR. And if you can reduce the amount of routing through a kit that you have to do, to get to the essentials, then that's perfect. Now, I don't know about you, but I can never remember number of breaths per minute because they've changed it so many times. Well, this pack's perfect because there's a single glance guide to giving CPR and assessing the danger of the situation. Once you've done that, they give you a face mask, nitrile gloves, and some wipes because often when you're giving CPR, you're giving it to someone who's vomited. I've been playing around with these kits for a couple of days now, and one thing I really like about them is that everything's color coded. You've got blue for protecting you, you've got red for treating the trauma, you've got green for the information pack so you can find out what you did wrong after it's all over, and then you've got black to act, which is all your accessories like tweezers and, and scissors for cutting off clothing if you need to get to the skin underneath, that sort of thing. How cool is that? You can see from a glance, I can open this up at, at any angle and stuff's not gonna go everywhere and everything's labeled with a number telling me how many bits of that item I should have. Another great thing about these kits is that they're not skimpy in what they give you. Have you ever bought something from a store and found that they give you one bandage and a band-aid and maybe a pair of plastic tweezers? Well, these guys, all the tools are metal, you get 50 band-aids, you get six conforming bandages, you get a couple of different kinds of compression bandage. They give you six bottles of saline, they give you three lots of bags for putting your waste into. If this was a kit for your home, you wouldn't hold off using it if someone just cut their finger with the kitchen knife. You could use it in the knowledge that there's still plenty of equipment in the pack if something major goes wrong at home. And that's a big advantage. Next up, we've got the car kit. And this is smaller, but no less logically laid out. You've got black to act, you've got red for emergency, you've got blue for you. And what I like about this pack is you've also got personal pockets. So if you're going on a trip with someone who you know is an asthmatic or needs an EpiPen, you can throw in ventilators and EpiPens there, or maybe even just some Nurofen to put up with your husband's jokes. As you'd expect in a smaller pack, you get less equipment but you still get the same variety. So you still get saline, but this time you get two packs. You still get gloves, this time you get one pack. Whereas your workplace pack is designed to be used on several occasions before it's replenished. Now next up, you've got your remote pack and this does pare things down a bit. 
you've got a great see-through window at the front so that there's no guessing what's inside. You know before you start to use it. With the remote and outdoor pack, you've got this fantastic bandage. This is really good for snake bite, for applying pressure bandage to a snake bite wound. A lot of people really worry about getting the pressure right. Too much pressure and fingers go blue, too little pressure and you're not stopping the venom from traveling through the body. So it's really important to get this right. They've got these little rectangles here that expand to a square when you've got the pressure exactly right. So it takes the guesswork out of treating snake bite. You've also got your hydrogel for burns and things like that, um, which all the other packs have as well. You've also got emergency blankets, which the other packs also have for treating hypothermia. It's really pared down to the basics of what you would need when you're out in the bush. And there's a really good little tab here that you can pull on and it gives you a polyethylene sheet. You've got a flashlight in case something happens at night. You've got a couple of different whistles and then you've got a mirror for attracting the attention of helicopters or something like that if you're out in the bush and someone's looking for you. Once again we've got a personal items area here so asthmatics, people like that can carry their extra ventilators. This is an ultimate little pack if you're going hiking or if you're working down the bottom of the farm away from everyone else and you don't want to carry all this big stuff. Maybe you just throw this in the four-wheeler. Now last but not least we've got the snake bite kit and once again we've got the same colour coating. This time we've got a couple of pairs of nitrile gloves to look after you but what I love about this is you've got two of these compression bandages with the rectangular indicators so you get the pressure right. Then you get a splint to put around the arm or the leg to keep it immobile and then you've got a compression bandage to put around the whole thing to keep it all tight together. This is a brilliant little setup and if you're working in areas where there are long grass or along creeks and waterways, having one of these close at hand would be ideal. So these kits are absolutely fantastic. They're well laid out, there's consistency across the whole range and they're very generous with the amount of product they supply. But as you well know, accidents and emergencies often happen when you've got no kit or instructions at all. This is where the great free resource that I mentioned earlier comes in and this, I believe, is a game changer. I'd like to introduce to you something that I think every farmer should have on their phone, the iFirst Aid phone app. Now this is a completely free app and it not only has all of the instructions for the common first aid issues that you're going to have on the farm, but it has a whole range of extra features as well that I think you'll agree with me are game changers. First off, you don't have to go into menus to find out about CPR. All you have to do is press the hot key at the top. Next, if you're trying to report to the ambulance where you are, there's probably not a nearby gate. You can actually give them latitude and longitude. It'll also give you a map reference and it will also give you your street address, your ward and your shire. If you've got a family member that lives on their own or an older family member that goes out and you're not quite sure where they are and they're long overdue, you can literally press a button on your phone and if they've got this app installed on theirs, you will get their location. The emergency button for me is the absolute game changer for agriculture. If you're down the paddock, you get bitten by a snake and you can't make it back up to the house, all you have to do is press this center button here, the emergency button, and it will broadcast a beacon of your exact location with a map, street address, and Latin longs to every member of your family or work crew that has this app loaded on their phone. And they'll get a message straight away telling them to come to that location and render first aid. And you can use it as a check-in device as well. If you have employees traveling from property to property, they can actually check in at the property they're at at all times so you know where people are if something goes wrong. For a free app, even if you don't buy their first aid kits, make sure you get this one. I'm gonna leave a link to this app in the description below. And I reckon if you work in agriculture, no matter where you are, this is a vital piece of kit to keep on your phone. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you agree with me that these first aid kits are something spectacular. If you like this sort of content, please hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and don't forget there's plenty more content on timthompson.ag. See you next week.